Good afternoon. What I hold in my hand here today is a Mercedes Nippon Denso AC compressor. This compressor was used after 1986 in all models and almost every 190 series used it except for the very early 2.3 liter cars. Now this compressor has some great functions but there's one that I'm going to educate you about today and it's called the RPM sensor. And this video is about how to diagnose a bad one. An RPM sensor has one function, and that's if your compressor locks up while it is activated, the RPM sensor has to tell the Klima relay that it has stopped turning, and therefore power to the compressor is cut before anything happens to the serpentine belt. This way, the serpentine belt can keep turning all the accessories, but the compressor disengages automatically. Now, what happens then when this RPM sensor goes bad? Well, it's really simple. Your compressor quits turning on like it's supposed to, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. Let's say that you turn the AC on on your car. Well, as an example, we'll use this 1990 350SD back here. We turn the air on and the air, the air conditioning compressor runs for about a minute or two. But as soon as you accelerate the engine and then release the throttle, the compressor cuts out and you don't have any more cold air conditioning. This might be an indication that the sensor is failing. Now in order to replace the sensor, you have to remove the compressor because it's integrated into the plug housing up here and it's held in place with a snap ring back here. But the part is available separately from Mercedes for around $150, and it saves you the headache of having to replace the entire compressor. These Nippon Denso compressors, in fact, are so good that they usually last the life of the car. And it is very unusual to have to replace one unless it gets contaminated. But the RPM sensor does not last the life of the car, and from time to time they do have to be replaced. Now, if your serpentine belt is bad or the tensioner is bad, it can cause the same symptoms, particularly on gasoline models. So make sure that they're in good working order before you pull the compressor out and go after the RPM sensor. Anyway, if you'd like to know more about your Mercedes and its small inner workings that set it apart from other cars, please subscribe to our channel and send us your questions. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day and enjoy driving your Mercedes-Benz.